Today's episode is sponsored by Mack Weldon. Disney shot first. Han Solo's directors have been kicked to the curb, but what does their ouster mean for the future of Star Wars? This is exciting news for people who want more of the same old, same old from Star Wars. In an almost unprecedented move, Lucasfilm has fired directors Chris Miller and Phil Lord from the upcoming Han Solo standalone film, only a few short weeks away from when the project was supposed to wrap production. From the get-go, the directing duo seemed like strange fits for the Star Wars franchise, responsible for offbeat comedic hits like the Lego Movie and 21 Jump Street. Lord and Miller have spent their career curating an eccentric sensibility that was all their own. A sensibility that felt deeply at odds with the wave of journeymen directors Disney has been attaching to all the other Star Wars movies. Some held out hope that the company knew what it was doing when they hired the pair and that it signaled their intent to finally inject some new creative energy into a series that seemed increasingly content with just repeating the successes of its past. But nope! Clearly, Lucasfilm was just expecting them to ditch whatever made them special as directors and fall in line. By the way, how's the Book of Henry doing? Good? Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, you know. So what exactly happened and how did it go down? Well, let's dig into it. According to an article on Slash Film, trouble started brewing almost the moment cameras started rolling. Lord and Miller are comedy directors used to experimenting with the tone of a scene and allowing for a lot of improv on set, and this just didn't sit well with some of the Star Wars vets also attached to the project, specifically producer Kathleen Kennedy and screenwriter Lawrence Kasdan. Kasdan especially took issue with their work, feeling that the duo just didn't understand the character of Han Solo, depicting him as overtly comedic as opposed to sarcastic and selfish. The Empire Strikes Back scribe is also apparently a bit of a script purist who doesn't like to see his words messed with. But I guess on that front it's hard to take issue with the guy who wrote what is maybe the best line in all of Star Wars. I love you. I know. Oh wait, no, sorry, that line was actually improvised. I guess straying from the script can actually work sometimes. But anyways, according to the story, all of this reached a head when Kennedy and Kasdan started watching dailies that, to them, just didn't feel like Star Wars. Kennedy attempted to correct the situation the same way she did when Rogue One was going off the rails by bringing in a pinch hitter for the struggling directors. But unlike Gareth Edwards, who happily welcomed the oversight from Tony Gilroy, Lord and Miller stuck to their guns and refused the help. And that's when they were fired out of the provincial proverbial trash shoot. Now, of course, none of this has been confirmed by Disney, but all of it does kind of add up, especially since it is almost exactly what happened to Rogue One. So what happens now for Han Solo? Well, apparently Disney has a list of directors they're considering to take over for Lord and Miller, and it is a veritable who's who of Spielberg clones in their late 60s, including Robert Zemeckis, Joe Johnston, and Ron Howard. Now, each of these guys have definitely done their fair share of great work in the past, Zemeckis especially, but there's no denying that they all use a pretty old-school approach in their directing. An old-school approach that will probably feel much closer to old-school Star Wars than whatever Lord and Miller were doing. And what about Lord and Miller? Well, while effing up your Star Wars gig may seem like a career killer for most, the duo apparently got right back on their feet. Slash Film reports they've already taken a meeting with Warner Brothers about directing their upcoming Flash flick, which would be a very cool development, not just because Lord and Miller's rapid-fire comedic style would be a perfect fit for the speedster, but also because it would make them the third directors after Patty Jenkins and Joss Whedon to defect to the DCEU after a bad experience with Disney. Honestly, at this point, we just hope Warner Brothers hires Edgar Wright to direct a Booster Gold film and complete the quadfecta. But all that aside, there's a fair amount of disappointment over what happened. Folks can argue that Kasdan and Kennedy have both been working with Star Wars for decades and know what the franchise needs to succeed. But at the end of the day, that might also kind of be a little bit of the problem. Now, the standard successful Star Wars mold is getting a little bit boring, and some fans were ready for something new. So would Lord and Miller's version have worked? We honestly have no idea, but it would have been exciting to see where they made Maybe could have gone with it. The only upside is that Han Solo, the Lord and Miller version, will probably become the new holy grail of impossible to find director's cuts. We just really hope that we get to see it one day. But what do you folks think? Are you Team Kennedy or are you bummed out about Lord and Miller getting fired? And do you think we'll ever get to see their version of the film? Let's discuss. And a special thanks to our sponsor, Mack Weldon. They make the finest and most comfortable shirts, shorts, underwear, and workout gear out there. I ordered some for my hubby for his birthday, which is great because their line of silver underwear and shirts eliminate odors because they're naturally antimicrobial. So no more Dutch ovens for me! <laughs> Woo! 
Ordering is extremely easy, and if you don't like your first pair, keep it anyway, and you'll still get your refund. So if you want something that looks as good as it performs, go to MacWeldon.com and get 20% off of your order using promo code NERDIST.